So we have been wowed by the brand new M1 iMac in 2021. The iMac joins the lines of, for example, the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, and also the Mac Mini will all share the identical chipset. Also, I'm not gonna forget the iPad Pro as well, also has that chipset inside it. However, the Mac Mini, for example, has that same chipset inside it, but yet costs half the cost of an iMac 24 inch model with that M1 chipset inside it. And the big question is, which one should you pick, especially that the Mac Mini costs half the price? Well, let me help you out. So at the end of last year, Apple really pushed the bar in bringing out the brand new M1 chipset, their own Apple Silicon chipset they've invented themselves and put it inside the likes of the MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro 13 inch, and also the Mac Mini. However, we just had the bombshell of a brand new iMac 24 inch model replaces the 21.5 inch 4K model iMac and it has an M1 chipset inside that as well. The M1 chipset is super powerful. It has four efficiency cores inside it and it also has four performance core and you also have an eight core GPU to provide that kind of graphics power. And that chipset, like I said, is extraordinary. In how the M1 iMac is going to perform, we believe it's going to perform very, very similar to the MacBook Pro 13 inch. And the reason behind that is if you can see here on the iMac, you have kind of sort of two fans to kind of keep everything cool. And on the MacBook Pro 13 inch, you have something very similar in the inside where you have fans as well. The Mac mini has a fan inside it, but the MacBook Air, for example, doesn't have a fan. But on performance levels, if you look at this Geekbench scoring system here, you can actually see there isn't much in it between them. And we believe that the iMac 24 inch model is gonna be somewhere between the Pro and the Mini for kind of, kind of performance we're going to get. But to be deadly honest here, if you compared, for example, the MacBook Air to the Mac Mini that we have here, and let's say you were playing a game, you'd probably get about one frames per second faster on the Mac Mini compared to the Air. There isn't much in it. And that cooling is doing a good job, but to be deadly honest, an overall performance, you're really, really not gonna be able to tell. But whilst we're here, let me compare this iMac 24 inch M1 to the original baseline 21.5 inch 4K Intel iMac that used to exist before. And as you can see here, that the M1 is over 40% faster in single core and in multi-core, you're actually double. In fact, you're over double the amount of speed, so over 100% faster, and that is super fast. And remember as well, guys, this iMac is gonna be even more faster than, for example, the top line 16 inch MacBook Pro processor, the CPU, what you find inside that. That's right, that i9 Intel processor, what's in the 16 inch MacBook Pro, the M1 CPU element is actually faster than that. And that is incredible. So I think you get the idea of how powerful M1 is going to be inside the iMac. And you can also see it's gonna be very much on par with also the Mac Mini at the same time. But let's talk about a few more other features that the iMac 24 inch gives us. So obviously there is that brand new super thin design and you also got the option now to pick of different colors if you want to. On top of that as well, you have that brand new display. What is a 24 inch display? It's bigger than the 21.5 inch display that we used to have before. On top of that as well, it's a 4.5K screen, not just 4K screen, a 4.5K screen. On the back for ports, you get four USB-C ports. Two of them are Thunderbolt 4 ports or USB 4 ports inside that. Included as well is a brand new webcam at the top, what's a 1080p webcam that you now get. There's some brand new mics and brand new speakers inside it as well. And cool as a feature or not, you've also got this kind of like MagSafe connectivity on the back of the iMac. Then on top, inside the box, you'll get yourself a magic mouse and you'll also get the magic keyboard as well. And all of this will just cost 1,299 US dollars. However, there is a little bit of a catch here, one thing I'm going to say. There are kind of some features you would gain if you went for a higher spec model, like the 1,499 US dollars M1 iMac. 
and that is for example you would get for example touch ID inside the keyboard you also get that kind of gigabyte um, Ethernet connectivity in the power that goes up the cable up to that kind of MagSafe connection. You also at the same time as well get some extra two normal USB ports included but you'd have to pay that extra premium. But for this example, we're going to stick with the 1,299 US dollar base model because we're going to compare it to the base model Mac Mini. And that only seems fair. Now the Mac Mini, if you buy one, inside the box, all you'll find inside it is literally just the Mac Mini box and also the power supply. And the idea is, is that you bring your own devices. Now I'll talk a bit more about that in a second, but let's have a look at the ports that are inside this Mac Mini on the back. So on the back of it, what you get is, you get an Ethernet port, you get yourself a HDMI port as well with the support of up to a 4K monitor, you get two USB normal ports with USB free connectivity inside that and you also get two times USB-C ports on it as well what have Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 built into that and all of this together costs you 699 US dollars but there is a catch that you have to bring your own devices and what I mean by this by bring your own devices you've got to connect up yourself a keyboard a mouse a monitor and some speakers to get a very similar experience to an iMac. Now, a lot of us have old desktops lying around, or maybe what you're doing is replacing your desktop with say a Mac mini or maybe with a new iMac. So you might have a spare monitor, you might have a spare keyboard, mouse and speakers. But the thing is, even if you don't have those, they don't actually cost a lot to buy to put this together with the Mac mini. So have a look at this for example. I found here a 27 inch 4K monitor and it only cost 249 US dollars. Also at the same time as well, I found a wireless keyboard and mouse for just $25 and also PC speakers for $20 as well. If you add all of this together and also add your Mac mini together, that's 995 US dollars. So just under $1,000 yet it will cost you $1,300 for the iMac. So you're making a massive saving there straight away. And like I said, that's if you have to buy all of those devices. Some of those devices you might have lying around in, the, in your house. Also, as a big benefit there, I don't know if you just noticed that on that list, I said a 27 inch monitor. That's how much it would cost for 249 US dollars. Whereas with the iMac, you only get a 24 inch display instead. So actually you're benefiting here with an actual bigger monitor. So the big question to ask here, is it worth getting yourself an iMac? Well, I can tell you one thing what is worth doing and that is entering into today's giveaway or the channel's giveaway right now. So at the moment, I'm doing a giveaway for one of these. It is for an iPhone SE in space gray. That's right, guys, you could get your hands on this model and it's a 64 gigabyte model and I'm going to be giving it away to one lucky subscriber when we get over 155,000 subscribers because I just recently changed it from 170 down to 155 if you join me on my live event just recently. But the main point what I want to know from you guys, if you want to get your hands on this iPhone SE, and that is what Apple products are you planning to buy in 2021? Let me know in the comments below. And also at the same time as well, I plan to do get my hands on an iMac, for example, and I've already gotten basically a Mac mini right here with M1 inside it. And I'm gonna do some comparisons between both of them. Let me know in the comments below what kind of comparisons and what kind of things you'd like me to do with either the iMac or the Mac mini or both together. Put those in the comments below. But like I said, over 155,000 subscribers, I'll be giving this away. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and at the same time as well, hit that notification bell. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put down the brand new iMac. It is a great, all-in-one device and if you want something what has an all-in-one device it is incredible for that and there are some other benefits that you're going to get for example there is not many how can i put it screens out there or monitors out there what are basically 24 inch inside and give you a 4.5k resolution on them that is quite rare to actually find but yet you're going to get that if you buy yourself an imac also, another benefit as well is you get that brand new kind of webcam, what is on the top of the actual iMac as well. With a Mac mini, you wouldn't get that. However, you could buy yourself a webcam for 20 US dollars more probably, but 
that's the point. You get it built into the iMac, but there again, at the same time as well, you've got to ask yourself, for example, with the abilities of like iPads and for example, the ability of your iPhone or different phones, you've got kind of a selfie camera on that. So are you gonna use that instead? And you might not actually need a webcam on your iMac. You might not use that ability at all. But one other big factor, what you will get with the iMac is everything from the power cable to the actual device, the stand, to the keyboard and the mouse, everything inside the box will be Apple branded. Whereas with the Mac mini, you'd have to bring your own devices. Now, what I'm trying to say with the Mac mini, you can also bring your own magic mouse and you can also bring your own keyboard as well, your Apple keyboard if you want to, but you'd probably have to go out and buy yourself your own display. There are Apple displays out there, don't get me wrong, but most likely you're gonna use your other bits and pieces. The other big factor as well with the Mac mini is everything is separated out. Now you can do a really good job in tidying everything up, for example, with the Mac mini. So for example, you could kind of balance your monitor if it allows it on top of your Mac mini, or you could put your Mac mini the other way around on top of the stand of your monitor if it allows it, because the Mac mini is so, so small. It's different things here, what you've got to compare. But there is one last party trick I've got to mention with the actual Mac mini. And that is also you have the ability to connect up two monitors of your own sizes and choices to the device. You can connect one by the HDMI port and you can connect one by the USB-C port or the Thunderbolt port on the back. So you can have a dual monitor setup. Not to say that the iMac can't do this. The iMac can also connect up a USB-C monitor and you can choose the size that you want with that as long as you sit within the kind of resolution range. But the thing is you'd be stuck with your 24 inch and basically you could have like say an odd 27 inch sitting next to it. So it's going to be a bit strange and different. With, for example, with the Mac mini, you could probably pick two monitors of the same size as long as they are compatible with USB-C and HDMI at the same time. And you could have a great setup with your Mac mini. So as you can see here, there is lots to think about. But one thing we've got to remember for both of these models is performance will be basically exactly the same. There will probably be nothing in it between both of the devices. It is basically down to preference in what you want. And I would basically say this, if you've got the money and you want an all-in-one package where everything is Apple outside of the box, basically when you get it, go for that brand new iMac. That new display looks amazing. The speakers inside it sound really good and that webcam and the colors, wow, that is really, really cool what they've done to the iMac. And the actual design as well is really small and really, really sleek and thin. So yeah, what an incredible device. However, if you still want that kind of performance, but you don't want to fork out that much money, definitely go for the Mac mini. Especially, like I said, if you've got a spare monitor lying around, spare mouse lying around, spare keyboard, spare speakers, you know, you can just connect them all up with your Mac mini and you're ready to go. And it just costs you 699 US dollars for the Mac mini and nothing else. And even still, if you had to buy a couple of all those bits or even all of those parts of the monitors and everything, like a demo to you, it still would be cheaper than buying the iMac M1. Well guys, it is time to wrap this up. So if you have enjoyed watching this video, please do press the like button. And at the same time as well, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you press subscribe and that notification bell. Until next time guys, see you soon.